guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here if you are new my name is Alex Vazine and uh, nice to meet you thank you for watching um, I am bringing you this New Year's Eve kind of soft but still glam look uh, really neutral but a little bit of sparkle uh, perfect for if you don't want to do a super smoky, crazy, dramatic uh, New Year's Eve look. You want to keep it a little bit uh, simple, a little bit toned down, but still girly and flirty and sparkly. Um, so if you do want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Guys, so excuse my voice, I am a little bit sick. It is that season. I'm going to start off by priming my eyes how I usually do with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm in the shade light medium and I just put that all over my lid to uh, create a base for that eyeshadow so um, you really get the full pigment and to prevent any creasing. And to set that I'm just going to use my Fit Me Loose Powder and this is the shade number 10. And again, this is just going to prevent creasing of your eyeshadows later on. And also, laying down that base and adding a powder to set it is going to help blend your transition shades and blend all your shadows together pretty nicely. So next I'm just going to take a neutral transitional shade and I'm going into my Desi and Katie Friendcation palette. Looks like this. Gorgeous. Love this palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Necessary on just a fluffy brush like this one. And I'm going to take that shade. It's a nice neutral. And pretty much concentrate that in my crease. And wing it out. Next I'm going in with my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and um, I'm taking the shade Warm Taupe which is right here on a little bit of a fluffier brush but still I'm going to concentrate that color in the same place that I was before just in the crease and wing it out. And you can see that's creating a really kind of like uplifted shape to the eye. And um, that's really great and exactly what I want for my hooded eyes. And um, this is going to look great on a lot of different eye shapes as well. Especially if you have like super almond eyes. It's going to look amazing. And um, it's super easy to create a dramatic cut crease type of look without all the work of a cut crease. So next I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a defined blending brush and I'm going to take a little bit of a deeper brown. I still want to keep it a little bit neutral. So I'm going to take my Morphe 39A palette, which is this big huge giant palette that I adore. And I'm going to go ahead and lightly, very lightly because these are super pigmented, I'm going to take this shade down here. And these do have names, I believe, but I lost that little paper a long time ago, girl. So I'm just going to lightly, lightly dip into that. You could see there's barely, barely any little brown on my brush. And um, the yellow's just stained from before. But I'm going to concentrate that a little bit more on my crease. It's still winging it out, but I'm not blending it as high as the colors before. We're adding a little bit more definition this time. So now that I've done both eyes and I really like the depth that I have, I'm going to take a sort of fluffy dome brush like this. It's not super fluffy anymore because I use it for concealer. And um, take a dot of concealer on the back of my hand, the same one I was using before, my shape tape. And the reason I'm using a brush like this is because I don't want it to be a super defined line that I'm going to create. I want it to be still super soft and, and um, still kind of go with that soft vibe right there. So I'm going to take this brush 
and get a little of my concealer and make sure there's very little on that brush and I'm going to take it a little bit on the lid out here where it got a little muddy we want to really keep that lid light and open and then just drag that down to really define that line a little bit more of the shadow if you feel like that line got a little too defined go back in with your denser blending brush make sure there's not much product left on it and just go back over lightly a couple times to smoke that back out so once I have that nice neutral crease done I'm gonna add a little sparkle and I'm gonna take my glitter liner by wet n wild I believe I've had this forever so the label has worn off um, it's called Swan Quill and um, it's just a beautiful silver glitter liner with this neutral crease we have going on you could really use any color liner to match your outfit but for New Year's Eve for New Year's Eve I always think silver that's my go-to so I'm going to take that and I'm going to define that crease but just a little bit above that crease what that's gonna do is really make the glitter pop because it's not lining kind of underneath the neutral it's lining just a little bit above so you still get that brown underneath with the glitter on top and this is great also for my hooded lid girls because we're doing it a little bit above the crease so it's really gonna show even when your eyes are open and when you have lashes on and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I like to look kind of straight on with my mirror below me so that I could really see sorry if you hear like a little chewing in the background I literally have four dogs in my apartment right now uh, and it's madness and they're eating treats right now so um, yeah I'm gonna continue to take that glitter and just run it the same as I would And you can already see that's super pretty. And wing it out just like we did with the shadow. And it's just a really easy way to get a dramatic, sparkly, fun, cute eye look and make your eyes look a little more upturned and sexy for New Year's. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other eye and come back. So here is the liner done. Again, it's a little bit more of a subtle look for New Year's Eve rather than like a super black smoky eye, um, but it's really beautiful. It has definition and a little bit of sparkle for those of you who don't wanna go too ham on New Year's. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my base and my brows just go ahead and get that out of the way boring stuff and then we'll come back and um, focus on contour highlighting lashes and complete the look with lips and we'll see you guys in one second so now that the base and eyes are done I just set a little bit under my under eye and now I'm gonna go in and really focus on my contour for an event like New Year's Eve um, I like to go with a really strong contour, really slice those cheekbones, make your face look super angular, super snatched, and um, just really a sexy look in my opinion. So first, <laughs> I did like this weird like, first we're going to go in with um, my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C13. And I'm just going to apply that to the hollows of my cheeks, but a little bit higher. This is going to kind of create the illusion that your cheekbones are a little bit higher. And I'm just going to go in with that same brush I used for my foundation. And just gently pat that to blend it out. 
I'm not swiping, I'm not buffing, I'm just kind of tapping that out. And I take it a little bit on my cheekbones. And I just start it off with a little bit. So it's not gonna be too intense right off the bat. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. when there's less product on that brush tap it onto the apples of my cheeks as a blush because I don't really use a whole lot of blush so that's how I define and keep kind of like a rosy look to my face a, a rosy bronze look and you can see that already defined a little bit so then I'm gonna go in with a different brush and I'm gonna go in with a stippling brush like this a nice fat stippling brush and I'm going to take my Anastasia Contour Kit, the cream one, cream contour. This is in the shade medium, and I'm going to mix these two shades right here together, taking mostly that first lighter color, and then lightly the darker one. And I'm going to carefully, very lightly define that cheek, focusing towards the back and bringing it forward. So that's really creating that bronzy type of contour. And then I'm gonna set the face really quickly with my uh, Maybelline Fit Me Powder and then I will be back. Next, I'm gonna go in with powder contours. Um, it's really just building up that contour to how you like it and um, as dramatic as you like it. Uh, so you could totally skip this step once you've set your face and you're good to go and add a highlighter. That's up to you. I like to intensify my contour a little bit more. I like to intensify my contour a little bit more. And I'm going to take the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronzer on a fluffy angled brush like that. And then I'm also going to take my beat up, very, 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 very hit pan beat up. Um, contour palette by elf. I believe this is in the shade medium light medium. This is um, number 83320 and I'm just gonna dip into this shade right here a little bit cool toned Tap off the excess on the on my brush and go in and really focus it in here Towards the back of the cheekbones And the jawline and you could see it really created that depth that I'm looking for and I take that down the sides of my nose just a little bit I never really do an intense nose contour but I like to just bring a little bit of attention to the middle of the face because it could look very washed out if you don't add any product so that is what I like to do next I'm gonna go in with a powder again and to do this, I like to take a dry beauty blender, like this one, dry, dip it into my setting powder, again using that Fit Me um, loose setting powder, and cut underneath that contour. Now again, this is a New Year's thing, this is not like an everyday thing. Um, but it really, you could see, adds that definition. So next we're going to finish the eyes up while that is baking. And we are going to take the same shades as before from that Friendcation palette, the shade Necessary. And also from the Modern Renaissance, the shade Warm Taupe. And we're gonna take them on that same dense brush we used before. Easy, no fuss, you don't need a, a different brush. And I'm gonna dip into both of those and just run that on my lower lash line. And really make sure that's blended out. Add a little bit of a smoky effect.
and I'm just lightly, very ever so slightly dragging it up from the bottom to create almost a double little wing effect. Now I'm just going to tight line with a black eyeliner really quickly and carefully. And one thing I like to do, am I in focus? One thing I like to do when I tight line is just drag it out from the end of the eye just a little bit to create a little bit of an upturned appearance, a little bit of a wink. And this is a really easy way to create um, also a guideline for your wing if you're using um, a liquid liner later on. Just a little tip. And then I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara. I'm using the Essence I Heart Extreme Volume Mascara Waterproof and I'm going to apply lashes. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and come back to finish the look. Okay guys, so for the lips I just used the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. Holy crap, that is a mouthful. And um, it's in the shade Needed Me. It looks like this. It's a pretty, like, kind of pinky toned lip liner. And then over that, I just did um, the Fantasia Lip Gloss by ColourPop. It has these super pretty, like, silver and gold flecks in it. And it's just a really pretty color. And then, of course, I did lashes and mascara on the bottom. I like to make my mascara look similar to the top so like a little bit clumped together, a little bit spiky in some areas. And to finish off this look once and for all, I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter. So first I'm going to take my Desi and Katie collection with Dose of Colors highlighter in the shade Fuego. It's this super pretty gold. And then on top of that I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty um, a Diamond Bomb in the shade How Many Carrots on top. And it's going to be a really beautiful combo. So I like to just focus my highlighter there first. And then blend it upwards. You can see it's a beautiful sheen that gives. And then I'm going to take my Morphe Setting Spray. I really love this because it's a continuous setting mist. And um, so it kind of sprays out sort of like hairspray, but it's a little softer. And you don't need a whole lot of this. You can already see that just added to the sheen of my skin. So um, now, like as promised, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots highlighter. And it's just like a little dirty because of my makeup, but um, take a generous amount of that. Put it over and like look at that shine. It's ridiculous. Perfect for New Year's. And I do like to take it on my nose a little bit. And that is just like you're wet and your your skin is hydrated and plump and just gorgeous. A gorgeous look for the new year. And one that I have actually been doing uh quite frequently just because it's such an easy and beautiful uh, look that really, um, you know, complements the shape of my face. And um, last but not least, I am going to take another brush and just a little dumb brush like that and take my same Fenty Kilowatt, or not Kilowatt, how many carats, and just pop that right on the inner corner for some sparkle. Sorry, it's not in focus. <laughs> and just keep building up that sparkle. Keep building up that sparkle. And give beautiful light to your inner corner. 
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Like I said, it's a really bright, beautiful New Year's Eve look. Another thing you could do to kind of make it a little more dramatic, um, which I think would be bomb, is adding a black lip or a dark lip. Um, I always think that just looks super dramatic and beautiful and fierce. So um, that's probably what I'll do if I rock this look on New Year's. But um, you guys know I'm a gloss girl, so I'm all about that gloss. And um, I hope you all enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing, fun, and fulfilling New Year's. I hope next year brings nothing but positive things. And I feel that it will, and I'm super excited to see what the future holds. And if you want to follow me, go ahead and subscribe like this video, um, the information for my Instagram and all that good stuff, my site is going to be down in the description box below, as well as all the products I used to achieve this look. And um, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video guys, bye!